talked to you before, but uh, you've been here a little bit. Number 24 is a big deal around here. How do you, do you look to yourself having to measure up to that every day? Uh, not really, honestly. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of greats wore this number before me, but you know, I have my own story, you know. Mm -hmm. And what's for me, you know, no one can take that away. You know, God's got a plan for me, you know, and I plan on sticking to it and you know making it work out that way for me. veterans generally who lead, but are you pushing yourself to be a leader in this defense as soon as you possibly can? Um, I'm not really pushing. I mean, you know, one thing, you know, I, we got a lot of great guys on this team, a lot of great vets, you know, Vontez, LaMarcus, Carl, Eric Harris, you know, a lot of older guys, you know, who who play a lot of, a ton of football in the NFL. So, I mean, my biggest thing I'm worried about right now is actually going out there, you know, learning the playbook you know, learning what to expect from offenses and going out there and just doing my job. You know, with leadership, that role comes, you know, I just have to be who I am and that role to take itself. What's your comfort level in defense? Um, I'm pretty comfortable. I mean, like I said, I got a lot to learn. I'm more so, you know, worried about, you know, what to expect from offenses. I know I do a good, a very great job of going home, and, you know, watching film, studying. I take a lot of mental reps. You know, I put myself out there. It means, you know, making calls, you know, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know, and coach will correct me as we go through it, but I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. Yeah. Tweet that you fired out maybe a month ago about watching LaMarcus on tape and now yes. working with him. Yeah. What's that experience been like, and what do you think that you learned maybe kind of watching him on screen, and now what are you learning working with him? Uh, just watching LaMarcus on screen, you see how, how patient he is. He's probably, you know, we're playing him at nickel, you know, and for, be, for him to be able to climb down to level one and press like a true corner, I think is it's, it's unreal. You know, and so being able to go out there every single day with him, it makes my job, you know, very easy, you know, because I know he's a guy who plays with a high motor. He's going to get to the ball. He's going to hit. He can cover. The Marcus can pretty much do it all. So, you know, he does a great job, you know, mentoring me, you know, making sure, you know, I keep my feet where I am, you know, and I know he, I heard him say that once in the press conference over here, you know, and that's the one thing I have been focusing on, you know, just being where I'm at every single day and, you know, not looking so far ahead. You were, uh, for that third on two, you were brought up to the first team at safety. Was that, uh, was that unexpected? Did you reach some kind of, uh, did you turn some kind of corner in your in your progress or was that just the plan all along? Um, honestly, I, I don't know. You have to talk to coaches about that. I mean, like I said, I just go out here every single day, do my job, you know, I made a couple plays, you know, coach moved me up. So, you know, I just got to go out there and continue to make plays with the ones. What's it like working with Pretty fun, honestly. I have to admit, it is pretty fun. You know, we challenge each other. You know, to see who's gonna get to the ball first. You know, and I tell him all the time. You know, he's not he's not a better tackler than me. So you know, I look forward to going out there every single week. You know, starting out in training camp. You know, getting the third up guys. You know, making sure you know making each other better more than anything. What's the key to being a good tackler? You think in a sport in the NFL now where you don't do a lot of tackling? You have to take great angles to the ball. You know, keep your head up. See see what you hit. You know, put your body on his body. saying you're a free safety or you're a strong safety. Obviously, it's a different position, but mentally, how do you make that adjustment? What's the difference? Yeah. I'm asking, what's the difference? What's the difference between yeah. strong boys and tight ends and where you are on the side of the I field? I mean, my coach tells us both safeties should be able to do both things, play deep, cover the safety, I mean, cover the tight end, cover receivers, cover the back, blitz off the edge. So we don't have a strong or free. We line up on both sides of the field and we play. I said that's the hard knocks. Um, I look forward to it. I mean, you know, chance for, you know, the guys get to come around, you know, the world get to see, you know, what a great team we have here, you know, the history and the culture we're building here. You know, I think it's going to be a great experience. It's something that you can look back on when you're a veteran in the league. You can be able to kind of see a chronicle of your rookie season. For sure. For sure. I mean, honestly, you know, like I talked about before, you know, I was just talking to my family yesterday. You know, we, we really have to do a great job of, you know, canceling out the, the media, you know, the cameras and things, you know, and just go out here and do what we do every single day. You know, let's play football. After, uh, after tomorrow, you guys are basically off until training camp. What do you plan to do with that time? Um, I'm actually going to be training. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm not nearly where I want to be, you know, so I want to make sure I try to get close as I can, you know, going into training camp, you know, being in the best shape possible, you know, making sure I'm super crisp with the playbook. So that's about it, just training.